adventures and our big lap of Tassie. Last summer, we spent six weeks touring around Tassie and had an absolute blast. I highly recommend spending as much time as possible. We'll be going back for probably another two to three months next time and this is our second visit. It'll be our third visit next time. We took a day sail over from Melbourne to Devonport, staying at Werribee South Caravan Park the night before to, so we could go to a stage show. Had a rough sail, as always. Came to Devonport at about nine o'clock at night and stayed at Girdleston Park, which is um, not far from the Spirit of Tasmania port. Went shopping in Devonport the next morning at Woolworths and Hill Street Grocers. There's um, enough parking space in between the two of them along the road to be able to pull up your caravan. Uh, we went along to Ulverston, stopping at Ulverston, Penguin, Burnie and Wynyard, having a look around each of those, all worth having a look. Uh, kept going on until we got to Stanley, where we stayed at the Recreation Reserve. The Rec Reserve there uh, at that stage was $10 donation per night. Um, and it's got a water tap to refill your water tanks and a dump point as well, so you can get rid of your waste on the way out. Uh, we went up and climbed the, well, we didn't climb the nut. We took the chairlift up to the top of the nut and walked around the top of the nut. Uh, got some seafood from one of the many seafood places in Stanley. And then uh, the, that night we went back into town and just behind where the cemetery is, there's a beach where there's a penguin viewing platform that's absolutely free to go to. They just ask that you don't shine torches. There's red lights all around the place so that you can actually see the penguins and well worth doing at dusk. The next day we did Tarkine Drive, which is around about 150 kilometre circuit from Stanley and back, maybe 160. It took us a good eight to nine hours with lots of stops for photos. Went out through farming country out to the westernmost point of Tasmania, uh, West Point and Green Point. We also went to Arthur River. Um, Arthur River had, was, uh, there was some logging further up the river area and all the trees have washed down the river and have been washed up on the rocks. It's spectacular to see. And Edge of the World is there. You've got to go to Edge of the World just because it's a cool place, cool name. Uh, went, kept going down and went to Sundown Point. Sundown Point has um, a creek that comes out there that has Aboriginal carvings in the rocks along the, the creek area there. Uh, the track in is indicated as a four-wheel drive track and if there's been any rain I would suggest that four-wheel drive is an accurate description of what you need. If it isn't wet or hasn't been raining recently you might be able to get a two-wheel drive in there but I warn you to be very careful. And we went down to Cooter Rocks and headed inland to go on the Tarkine Forest Loop area. We went and saw Lake Chisholm which is one of the sinkholes created in the area uh, that has formed a lake. Um, had a look at Jewellers River, Sumac Lookout, the Rapid River Lookout, uh, another sinkhole that was there, the Teotia Bridge. And the highlight of that area is the Trawada Arch, which is in this area here. Trawada Arch is also formed by a sinkhole. You pass through cleared forest area to get into the um, protected forest area. And the sinkhole's been, has a lot of tree ferns and tall trees around the area. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, then headed back to Stanley, spent another night there, and then headed out to Dip Falls, which is a unique waterfall for Tassie. It has hexagonal, columnar, vertical um, rocks instead of being standard rocks that you see, and it makes a very interesting effect. And that's also where the big tree is out there, one of the tallest trees in Tassie. Uh, then we came back to Stanley. Uh, and that was the end of our Stanley stay and part one of our Tasmanian Big Lap. Stay